Terry, if you do the honor of the firm today, please stand. Well done, Lloyd and Lord Father, we thank you, Lord Father, for this day. Thank you for things as well as they are. Remember those people, Lord Father, that have cancer and all these different diseases that you touch and heal them and those in nursing home hospital. Pray, Lord Father, you remember our city and city officials and our citizens. I pray we'll all be led by the Spirit of God, Lord Father, to do the right things for this community. God, we pray, Lord Father, that you remember those that's, uh, that all come to Christ, that's lost, that they'll be saved by the grace of God. Do remember, Lord Father, those traveling, keep them safe. Remember our country, dear God, that you watch and protect us. We thank you for all your blessings. Remember our veterans. Remember those in the military. And remember this meeting. We'll give you the honor, praise, and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Any comments from the citizens? Noted being none. Any announcements? I have two of them. Does any council have an announcement? No. Okay. Uh, the spring cleaning event is scheduled for March the 18th, 2016. There will be a downtown merchant's cleaning on Thursday, April the 7th, 2016, at 5.30 at the Fox City Hall with the council chambers. The purpose of this meeting is to discuss the spring cleaning event for downtown business that is scheduled for April 26 through the 28, 2016. All merchants interested in this event are encouraged to attend this meeting. Okay. And now, uh, can they see the see uh, they can't come themselves, they can send it to the Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, another thing coming this this coming Monday, the People's Bank of the South is having uh, uh, Emily Roberts, she was running up on the TV show The Voice, and she will be at the People's Bank Monday, April 11th at 11 a.m. Uh, I will present her with the key to the city and a proclamation for her. And uh, there will be hot dogs, chips, etc., provided by the People's Bank of the South. <clears throat> and also, she is Jerry Dagley's niece. And it's, she's appeared here for the city of Folly before she is under contract to be a, a country singer. So. Everybody needs to come out of the People's Bank of the South and welcome him to the city of Lafayette. <clears throat> That's money. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mayor, also we're having a spaghetti dinner Friday for the cancer, Campbell County Cancer Association. It will be at the Old West of Fall. Right. It's $7, John? Huh? Yes, $7 and all the uh, money raised goes to local Campbell County Cancer Association. Yeah. That's, that's this Friday. Yeah. We we'll invite everybody to the what time? <coughs> 11 o'clock. <coughs> 11 and 1. 11 and 1. We need to get out and sponsor that. For, I'm also a cancer survivor, so it, it does help. Do we need to say how to take us? Yes. <coughs> Mayor, I have a brief announcement. Uh, this Saturday at 6 o'clock at the post office building, we're having an acoustical music program. And the performer is named Cameron Sutton. And he has been a opening for a lot of national acts. He does uh, mostly folk music. It's a single. He's a, you know just a pop. Accompanies himself with guitar, and it, and he's doing this free of charge. He just wanted to come and do this. He kind of said to bring the community together and show them the acoustic music and how good it can be. And this is a free event at six o'clock Saturday at the post office. Okay. All right. Everybody needs to come out. Mm -hmm. Show your support. Anybody else? Mayor, the dog was trails Friday. Right. 10 o'clock, front of City Hall. And see, you're going to have the dog wood signs up in the morning, right? Okay, there will be donuts and coffee and juice, right, Terry? And fruit. All right, so everybody come on down. All right. Anything else? 
Okay, under administrations, I number one, the city judge position. They tell you about West Hat Michael. Watch Council's Mayor. Mayor, I have two names that I'd like to place in nomination, if that be proper. And, uh, one is Daniel Forster, and the other one is uh, Greg Leach. Okay. You'd like to have what, Joe? Two things, I'm Two names, yes. Two names? Yes. Are we going with two names or one name? Whatever one gets free votes is it, so I don't matter. I mean, you, if they want, you want to nominate somebody, you can, yeah, that's what he said. Well, yeah, I know we can, but you nominate two, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to nominate uh, Kathy Fire, please. Okay. I move the nomination to cease. Okay. So you got Leach, Forster, yeah. and Kathy Ryan. Okay. Uh, Just call the roll. I don't get three votes, I guess. Okay. All right, you want to do? Wait, do one at a time. One at a time, okay. Let's do Kathy first. Mr. Bollinger? No. Mr. Hatmaker? Yes. Ms. Thompson? Yes. Okay. Speak for Kathy. Yeah. Okay. Is she here? I know where she at. Oh, <laughs> Kathy. <laughs> Set up. I'm going to give her a cushion. <laughs> Congratulations, Kathy. You're welcome. Thank you You're welcome. And I think she, she, I'll get with Kathy, but I think there's four coming up maybe this week. Thursday, I'll be there. Okay. I'll meet with you. Congratulations, Kathy. Okay. Okay. Item number two. Declaring April's clean up picks up month. Jimmy, you want to talk about those that you log in? Yeah, Mayor, we, uh, I think we always declare April as a cleanup fix up month and open the Dogwood Trail, which, as you said, will be on Friday. And then the uh, 26th through the 28th, uh, between uh, the Rec Center, Fire Department, Police Department, Street Department, uh, we're going to start in the downtown area and then all through the summer we're just going to work our ways out to the east and west end of the cities. But the 26th through the 28th, uh, we will clean the sidewalks, help the merchants do some cleaning if they need it uh, on their buildings, uh, help them do a little paint if they need it. You know, I kind of told them we can't paint the whole building, but we don't care to help you spruce that a little. Uh, paint the vibe off, put the parking places back in, paint them back in. Uh, landscape here in front of City Hall, landscape the downtown parks, and uh, paint the uh, arrows back on our roads, on our intersections here downtown. and. Uh, Hang all the wire baskets and all that stuff back up and just give the, make sure we got our sidewalks washed and Jim has some stuff that will uh, clean them and, and make them all look, look good and clean okay. our curbs and just make the, make the town look better. Okay. But Jim, you've got the dog with the Charles painted already. We're working on We don't have them complete, but we should have managed them all. Okay. You've got most of them. Most of them, okay. Yeah. 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 As far as plant trees, we enhance them pretty good about planting trees. Yeah, we're pretty good about planting stuff, ain't we, me and you? Yeah. We did the library. Yeah. It turned out good, so. We had to fight over it, but we did. We, and they're still living, so it's a plus. They're still living, so it's a plus. Okay. Well, it looks good. Well, it does. You know, we're actually getting out of the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Nancy, is everything with Nancy? Is all your stuff still living over there? Yes. We planted it. Yes. Okay, it does look good, don't it? It does look okay. good. Okay. I like to do something at the old post office, you know, to plant something around the post office, sir. I noticed Jim around back at Wall is getting in real bad shape as far as crumbling up. Maybe looking at maybe it's budget to fix that wall back there. All right. All right. Item number three. The Lions Club Carnival is uh, May the first through the eighth, twenty sixteen. And Sue, uh, is my understanding that the Carnival people is going to pay the five hundred dollars, not the Lions Club. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Okay. Same same as it was last two times. So. 
You just pick up all the paper and clean everything they, up, right? They leave a, leave a clean. Okay. Okay, so that's good. We're good with that. Okay. All right. We're good with insurance. <clears throat> Yeah, they, they, they I'll make a motion to approve. I have a motion to buy. Second, Second man, Conrad. Mr. Bollinger. Yes. Mr. Fannin. Yes. Mr. Hatmaker. Yes. Ms. Thompson. Motion yes. carries. Item number four, the 911 board. You know, we've got seven board members on there, and we've never had a problem with the seven board members that's on there, and I don't see no problem now why we're going to increase it to nine board members. But, uh, no, as chairman of the nominal board, I feel like that we need the nine members on there, and I would like to nominate Paul and well, stand to be put back on there. Well, that's good. You can't nominate. It's appointed by the mayor. No, it is by council. No, the mayor, the mayor appoints them. Council approves them. Is that correct? Mike, you come for Mike, please. Mr. Ram, this is the attorney for 911. Yeah. No, no. Did you understand the question, Mike? Miss no, Thompson recommended, recommended her putting uh, Councilman Fannin and Coach Officer Faust on the 911 board. I told her it's the mayor of Council. Council's got to approve them. The, uh, well, there's, there's two issues here. The first one is, of course, the size of the board. Uh, the uh, council has the authority to increase the board size uh, to nine members, which is a long way. Uh, how is the law clear that the uh, mayor makes all the appointments to the board? It's subject to confirmation of the council. Right. <coughs> so uh, nobody can serve on the board unless y'all approve it. And unless they're first appointed by the mayor. They're approved by the council. Yes. Yes. So he doesn't really appoint them then. Well, he. He appoints he them, but we do the vote in who that goes in. The position. The the word appointment, but it's really nominated. But you have to confirm. Right. Uh, next workshop, I'll have two citizens and the city will find it. Nominated. Uh, <coughs> recommend uh, <coughs> that uh, if you're going to increase it, that you do it by your proper procedure right. and motion and, and vote right. uh, to show in your minutes okay. uh, that, that it was done and what it was done. Okay. But it's me. Mayor. Uh, when it gets through, uh, I'll go ahead and make a motion that we approve moving the 911 board from seven to nine. Okay, you have, okay. To, you have to do that in I'll my, that. Wait a minute. Not to keep doing that the resolution to increase the board? I would recommend you do it in that form. Okay. So if you could just, and there's no formality to that, there's something writing that uh, shows exactly what you're doing. Okay. Okay, so it's clear, okay. Yeah. Okay, Bob, you have a motion? I want to make that motion I asked Reed to put it in the form of a resolution so we have it on the paper. Okay, do that, Reed? Yes. Right. Okay. Hand your second and I call Mr. Bollinger. Yes. Mr. Fannin. Yes. Mr. Hatmaker. Yes. Ms. Thompson. Okay, okay. okay. now I want to make a thing that uh, I've been here since 1996, since this thing has been installed. Mayor Mayor Jennings never made a nomination. It may be in the chart. In the chart. I want to look at it, but I want Reed to clarify that. And we won't uh, put anybody on it tonight, but I want Reed to clarify that. You know, it's a funny thing, Bob. You've been here since 90, 1996. Six. Same time. And there never was a problem before. Yeah. But now it's a problem after about but 20 years. You know? After you know, after we lose, um, after we lose millions of dollars in revenue. Because uh, we're giving our own 911 board is giving addresses inside the city of Lafollette to Jasper, and we're lost. We've lost millions. It's not. It's not propaganda. It's fact. Right. Millions of dollars. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think that. We, and we've been harping on this for a year. Even uh, Joey, tell me, the, the tractor supply was voted on. By the 911 board to be in the city of Lafayette, correct? Right. Now tell them what you. I asked you to look up and what, what happened with that. They're still on as Jacksboro. They're it's still on as Jacksboro. Okay. Well, you really can't blame the 911 board. You got to blame really. Well, us. The for a long time. Us. For a long time, 
the 911 board, not the board itself, the people who were doing the addressing, was putting Jasper addresses on it. I mean, Gary and, and Johnny, I mean, they, they were putting addresses, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a problem. It's a and problem. I, I don't it's, apologize it's, it's, for anything that I say because I would love to have seven to eight million dollars more in our fund balance, wouldn't you? We will, okay. since, we, since it's been brought to our attention, we will, but we've got to stay on top of it. If we don't stay on top of it, it's going to go right back where it was before. But you don't care, since I've been here since 1996 and we've never done it but one way, it reinvested itself, would you? I mean, you don't, you don't. That's the way on the board? Yeah. I mean, if you investigate who makes the, if we make a nomination before, or you do it, I, I, I've never seen Well, I don't, I don't really care what Reed does or who he does it for, but I'm going to read you something out of the charter right here. The charter, the city charter? The city charter. Yes. Okay. Now, bottom unit won't be working for the city when I work for him. You was one of the votes to go ahead and vote me. And you sort of held up on me being the mayor sitting here. But here's what the charter says, okay? Yeah, I mean. All right. Yeah, All right. All right. I'm going to tell you what the charter says, okay? Do you hear me now? It says, uh, 201, generally supervised city affairs. That's the mayor. That's what I do. The mayor shall have general supervision over all city affairs and may require such reports from the officers and employees as he may seem reasonably deemed necessary to carry out his executive responsibilities. I am responsible whether you or Mr. Hatmaker likes it or not. Well, I didn't say... Well, you did it in the last workshop. Do what? You did in the last workshop. Yes, I... I, I, what I said in the last workshop, and I'll say it again in front of the public, I, since we have hired a city administrator, there has been city councilman and the mayor that has been bossing, giving orders to our employees. And I thought that should stop. It should go through the chain of command. I say it again in public. You know, I want to tell I, you, Bob, there's not a day goes by, one or two of them are going to come up at drugstore over at Thompson's Treasure House Furniture. Until you just want them? Come over and tell you something. Or you tell them something. No, I don't know. The only time they come in is Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. This they they, they right. And they do. I have seen them play somewhere. During, yeah, but they're not there doing things that I've done. I can guarantee you I've never bossed one before. Okay. I don't tell well, you to do anything. No, I, I, and I've been here a while. Well, you can't even tell this administrator anything unless you're in a meeting once a month. You can't come down here in the morning. Even one day you tell me anything. Listen to the name. Mayor, you're good to be talking. You yeah. stay with you. Huh? You stay with you. You're just talking all the time. Now you're saying you're contradicting what you do. No, I don't. You know, I'm man enough to stand up to you what I do, Mr. I've done nothing to embarrass this city like you and some of the council members. But I know your, your, your heart may be in a good place. It is a good place. But let me, well, but let me tell you something. You create a lot of lawsuits here, too. Me? Yes, you. How you figure out well, time? you'll see when it comes down the pipe. Are we going to be talking about any losses? Maybe I'll have to go back to the floor. I don't want to get into that. We'll be any All losses. I'm asking is Bree to investigate the mayor's responsibility in appointing 911 board. If that's not too bad, would you do that for us? Can you handle it? That's it. That's it. All right. You're stepping in more faith than one, though. Pardon? If anybody's at Thompson's, you need to talk to your city administrator or your chief of police who was there on his own business today. Well, so you're stepping more faith than one. Well, so leave me there's, out not, there's not a council leave member. Me Nick, Nick, just a no, but I'm a taxpayer. I don't care. I don't care. You are a taxpayer. Hi, these people. Oh, you don't care that I'm a taxpayer. Who do you think's got you? I won't go on, Nick. Okay. I won't go on. Is that that right there's your point? That is the reason we're not proper. You're exactly right. Everybody should be able to speak that wants to speak anytime they want to. This is belongs to you guys. This don't belong to us. We're just here trying to keep it in line and, and, and run with it. But the rest of it belongs to the taxpayers of Zillow Bali and the citizens. But the taxpayers uh, don't have but a voice. But we got a, a mayor that don't look at it that way. It's his way or no way. Exactly. And it don't work. Last it just time, never won't work. Last time you did never have worked. Last time you did this running, you should have a car in Memphis. So don't talk about the mayor, okay? Yeah. Well, I'll talk about it if I want to. I'm in a mate. I have just as much hard as yours. Oh, th listen, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. You are, you're disturbing by me. We're going to yeah. move on. So quiet, okay? Yeah. But I right, we're going to move on. You don't know the difference. Bill? <laughs> All right. Okay, the public works. 
Jimmy? No. Okay. okay. Under public works, number one, hiring Christopher Block full time, currently part time at $21,008, effective 4 16 16. What's the council's pleasure? Make a motion to approve uh, hiring of Christopher Block. Okay. We mean. Okay. We mean. Have a second, Colorado. Yes. 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 Motion yes. carried. Welcome aboard, Chris. Thank you. Okay, number two, addition $5,000 for the storm drain project on Rusty Road. Uh, make, make a motion to approve that. Okay. Mr. Bowen. Yes. Mr. Payne. Yes. Mr. Hutmaker. One question. Is the money available for this? It's, it's actually coming out of fund balance like the other 15 was. Yeah. I didn't think that you could pay uh, labor out of fund balance. This is not what it is. This is a project. Okay. Well, this is a project. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Is it? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Mayor, I, I did add it to the resolution. I see you. I see you, Turner. Ms. Thompson. Yeah. Motion carries. Number four. Jim? Well, I'm wrong public works. Can I say something? Sure. Uh, this grant we were offered was mentioned in the workshop for the Dawson Street Bridge. Right. Is, it was not on the agenda. Is there a reason for it not being on, or was it just overlooked? Or well, we, Jim, we did, we, I didn't put it on there because we've not discussed it with the county about about if we're going to pay half of it, and they're still they're doing one more final review through TDOT, and there may be an additional eighteen percent of money available. So, okay, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's oh, that's way more of it. Thank you. Another another question on that, uh, Jim. Are they sent to it just as uh, engineering terms? Not yet. We have to vote to accept this, <clears throat> send it back to them. They have to sign it, and then they send the list back to us when they when T dot signs it again. So they they don't send you the list at, at this at this point. Uh, okay. 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 Under fire department, uh, number one. Harn Corey Brewer, full time, currently part time at $27,835, effective date to 4 16 16. Have a motion to hand and have a second. Second. Have a second. Joe Colorado. Mr. Bollinger. Yes. Mr. Fannin. Yes. Mr. Hatman. Yes. Ms. Thompson. Yes. Motion carries. You want to introduce him? Where's he actually? There he is. We did thank you for him. Thank you. We do have our class that started today. We just got over just about 40 feet. We did start the. Uh, uh, first public classes. This is Corey here. He's been with us since uh, about the first of January. September. And September. Okay. <laughs> Lord, I thought you know, we had a one resign here last week. Uh, we'll try to replace it. Okay. All right, Corey. Thanks, man. Okay, under orders resolutions. Okay, resolution 2016-09, resolutions for the park and recreation grant. You have a copy of it? What's the council's pleasure? Move with Motion for Joe. Yes. Second for Bob Colorado. Mr. Bollinger. Yes. Mr. Payton. Yes. Mr. Hatmaker. Yes. Ms. Thompson. Yes. Motion carries. Item number two. Resolutions 2016-10. Resolution for various budget amendments. What's the council's pleasure? Motion for Anne. Motion for Anne. I have a second. Second. Second for Bob Colorado. Mr. Bollinger. Yes. Mr. Payton. Yes. Mr. Hatmaker. Yes. Ms. Thompson. Yes. Motion carries. No other business, this meeting is adjourned. Can I, can I say something before you adjourn it? Yeah, Bill. Yeah. I, would, I would like to just say in front of the public and everything that y'all are getting ready to vote on a beer license and license to this, the corner of Beach, no, of Indiana and Central out here. And the, the, working with the downtown revitalization, we're trying to upgrade the city of La Follette and make it a better place for families and young people. And I just don't think that that's the place on the main thoroughfare for an alcohol and tobacco place to be put. Uh, I think it's the main entrance where you come out of the neighborhoods here, lots of problems around the neighborhoods. And I just, I just don't think that that would be a good idea to put something like that there. I think it would be harder on the police department to patrol that. We've worked with the ladies downtown the last couple of years trying to get all of that cleaned up and I think you'd be adding to the problem 
instead of taking away from the problem. Is it something like that at Bound Okay. Uh, thank you, Gail. Is there any, any more comments? Mayor, just to mention the uh, post completion on the last grant, it's been completed and accepted on the playground. Right, okay. Uh, that's been completed and everything right on that. You have sitting in a copy, John, saying? Yes, he has. Okay. All right. Anything else? It's being adjourned. Call the board. Here, board. Call the road, please. Chairman Gold. Here. Mr. Fan. Here. Mr. Hatmaker. Here. Mayor Sanford. Here. Here. Uh, we don't have any previous minutes to so <coughs> just have a new application on um, Central Avenue there, which you just called. Chief, you want to comment on it? <coughs> well, uh, we did uh, do a background on this, and they do meet the requirements. You did what, Bill? We did a background like we normally do, and they met the requirements. <coughs> Is the building finished? And if you turn the building down, it's I still mean, Maynard's record shop, I believe. Yeah. Isn't it? Bill? Sir? Still Maynard's record shop. Yes. Yes. Well, do you use anything along with this, Mr. Kraft? I don't know uh, specifically anything about it. You know, I've always had the position, you know, if, if, I don't know the status of where they are as far as opening the building or anything like that. You know, you, you're you have your regulations and you have your criteria and if they meet it then you know it is what it is that's all i can tell you and uh, so if the guidelines have been met from the standpoint standpoint of the application if they've met all the guidelines of those things you know i almost tell you i, mean, I get the, the objections from the standpoint of not wanting it there but to my knowledge i think it, it i assume it's his own Appropriately, I guess. And I, I assume it meets the zoning regulations. Is that correct? Yeah. And if they meet the guidelines from the application standpoint, I, I don't know what to tell you. Other than the fact well, this this body can turn it down, but they can go to the state and have to put it back in. That's correct. You could be uh, uh, <coughs> compelled to issue the, the permit unless you give a valid basis for not. If they meet the guidelines, then they meet. It goes through the planning commission. It don't go through the planning commission or anything. But the building did. I mean, the building of the it was already there. They cleaned it up, but they've added to it. Took some tanks out and stuff like that. None of that's what we had to go through the planning commission. Can I say something else? Yeah. The, I understand what Reed's saying, everything's in order to have it there. But as business owners and business people and I see a lot of, I mean, there's some people here, and trying to keep the downtown cleaned up. I just, that's, I understand what he's saying. And then right across the street, you've got uh, the funeral home, the red store. Uh, it's, it just seems to me like you wouldn't want that type of it, you know, put it anywhere else, but not right there on the main street. But you understand that. I understand, the criteria I understand is met, what it is, nothing. but I also understand the criteria is met, but isn't it our decision where, the, where we, yeah, he's legal, but. So you want to discriminate against, now listen, I live up uh -huh. that road, I understand, yeah. I mean, I have the same feelings, but, yeah. but discrimination, we can't do that, I, I agree, well, I mean, you know, just, yeah. I mean, it meets all requirements, and when this council Five years ago, six years ago, made the old town accessible to diesel. It made it accessible to anyone. Well, I just think it's make it we, because we have all talked for trying to clean up the downtown. I just think that what we're doing is going, I mean, I understand that, but it's we're going to create in the long run a problem that's even going to be harder to clean up in the long run. Explain again. What you what you said? All they do if that we bypass it, they go to the state. They do it. You understand that? Yeah. Is that what I heard? You no, say? I, no, I didn't. I didn't hear that part of it. I didn't hear that. If it meets the zoning requirements, which I assume it does, yes. and if they meet the application requirements, which I assume they do, if this if this board turns them down, they have appeal rights. We should be compelled to issue the permit unless we can show a reason 
I'm not part of one, but I'm just going to have a reason for, for denying the part of one. Chairman, you see any reason we can do this? But I also Denied. agree with, you know, that we're trying to clean up downtown, and we're trying to do a lot of activities in town, and I just feel like that in this thoroughfare, you know, right in the middle of town, this is not a good representative of downtown Pollock for the community that we're trying to represent. Yeah, I speak. We heard. My business is right across the street, and we have religious services all the time there. Is that a problem? Sure. So you don't have any problems with it, Bill? No, he didn't. It, uh, yeah, he does it makes a requirement. So it makes a requirement. Right. I'll make a motion. Let me, let me make a little let, let me make a motion to table this to one for one month. Can we do that? And let re look into the, a little bit of this and see. Uh, uh, I know Martin's is, I mean, the cross is right there where they do but do the, the church, I, you know, it, it, it's it's a shady thing. Could we table it for one month and see what Reed comes up with for us? Are they are there? Are they in a hurry? Are they here? Or are they in a hurry to open? He's not here on there. So can we table this for one month? You make a motion. I second. You can. I'll second. Do you see anything in for that might be different, Reed? That is a well, I want to make the comment as a business person, though, although some way the mayor doesn't think taxpayers count. Oh, you do uh, count, Nick. I've been in business me. probably here besides Jerry as long as anybody here. Uh, Joe has been working on a downtown revitalization plan for the past few years, which we're trying to progress on that. Within the surroundings of what's going to be put on this corner and Bob nobody said anything about discriminating against anybody except you but we have put in a very very nice playground Johnny didn't we and skate park within this area we've got a public library we've got the pink ladies going on at Freeman Park which there's activities going on at Freeman Park including the Christmas light show that was going on We've got activities going on at Sergeant Park. Jim has come up with this, clean up the downtown. We're doing all this trying for us that's been suffering for years and years to get something done downtown. And now you're talking about petting a beer store right in the middle of us. So, you know, I don't get it. So, you know, yeah, but where, they... where is our support from the city council? I mean, you know, we, I mean, we could we could say that we don't want no more department store. We don't want no more uh, uh, grocery store. We don't want no more uh, uh, funeral homes. Uh, and everybody makes a requirement, but we're saying, you know, that we can't do this because they make requirements. And you know, as a council member, you can't do that. You've got to you've got to be looking at the overall situation. And if everything meets and all the requirements is there. These people are going to force us, and we shouldn't have to be forced to, to follow the rules. Mr. Chairman, does anybody know what's going on over here on the Riverside Drive in this area of town? Uh, I mean, I would like to see the city council look at that. Yeah, they don't have to look at it. Yeah, they don't have to look at it. Well, they have to look at it. 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 Uh, for one month until Reed comes up with some information. I don't know if the funeral home would count as church or anything. I, you know, I, anything we can do to handle this. But, of course, if it meets every requirement and everything, uh, we're going to be sued if, if we don't approve it. I mean, you know, I mean it, it, you've got to understand this is where it's coming from. So, But I would table it for one more month so Reed can look into it, Bill can look into it. And, and make sure everything meets the guidelines. It's going to be interesting when Mike and Jimmy have their ATV festival this year, too. That's right. You just got to get the point there. Yeah. Got a motion for a second. Mr. Payne. Yes. Mr. Hatmaker. Is this a table for one mic? Yes. Mayor Stanfield. No. Ms. Thompson. Yes. Motion carries. We've been on business. We're trying to move to adjourn.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.